Welcome to Mora FC. It is what it is. I'm gonna give you all the tips, the tricks that you need in achieving this beautiful star. Just look at the bottom. Look at the below the bottom. You can see there's a V curve at the below. Also, I'm gonna give you all the tips, the tricks that you need in achieving this beautiful star. So if you are new to the channel, please do well subscribe, like, and share, and comment. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So do all and click on notification bell. So anytime I post a new video, you will be updated. Just look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna give you all the tips, the tricks. I'm gonna break it down the simplest form so this is the fabric this is 70 inches by 60 inches long 70 inches by 60 inches long it's going to depend how big you want your to be if you want yours to be bigger you can add you can mark like nine inches or nine and a half inches so i'm going to fold it to like this and i'm going to mark three inches as you can see the design at the side there you can see that the the lines are big as you can see now you can see the lichens line so i'm marking three inches over here like i was saying you can see that the lines are big so if you want to add extra to you add extra to it so i want mine to be moderate i want to use this small one i don't want mine to be big like this one so it's up to you so i'm checking the length as you can see like i said i'm using 60 inches long so we have to cut this one three times you know six times so seven by 60 inches long 7 by 60 inches long, 6 times, 6 times, that's how you're going to do. So I'll hope 40 to 2, then I'm going to sew half inch, so it's going to left 3 inches for me. So if you don't have a fabric, if you don't have a fabric, this is what you're going to do. If you want yours to be 3 inches or maybe 4 inches, then you have to cut like 5 inches, then you fold half inches and half inches to the other side, then you use a hemming gum. And you use hemming gum to each side from the bottom to the and that's what you're gonna do for all the six pieces. So I'm gonna open the seam and I'm gonna iron in the middle of the seam. Like I said, I want mine to be moderate, so I don't want mine to be big, I want mine to be small. So three inches is the minimum, or you can even go three and a half or four, two and a half. I want mine to be three inches. That's why I max seven inches. So if you want to you want if you want yours to be bigger than this, you need to add extra to it. So I'm gonna flip it over. It's not necessary that you have to use seven inches. You can mark eight or eight and a half or nine or nine and a half or even ten. You know, if you want yours. Uh, the lines to be big if you want yours to be big so i'm going to iron the seam where we join together i'm going to iron the middle make sure it falls exactly at the middle then you iron it from the top to the bottom like i said we need six of this we need six of this you know six of this that will help you to do whatever you want to do there will not be no shortage you can see the lines these ones are big you can see mine is small So you iron it. So like I said, you have you need six of this. You need six of this. This is four. I first cut four thinking that four is enough. So after doing it, I found out that four is not enough, so I have to cut extra to it. So you need a pattern paper like this one, and you're going to use your measurement, your bars divided by four, your uh, the length of your sleeve. So your bars divided by four, then you add your one and a half inch sewing allowance or one inch sewing allowance to it. You're going to use your shoulder slope that should be two and a half. If you want to learn how to cut a snatching tab, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Do and subscribe. This three inches. This three inches, not two inches or two and a half. This three inches. So your shoulder divided by two. So you're gonna follow the same procedure on how to cut the snatching tab. We're gonna do everything on this pattern paper. Without this pattern paper, you're not going to achieve the best of it. You're gonna find yourself fumble. You can't get the best of it. So get a pattern paper. Then you draw your measurement on it. So here I mark three inches, that's three inches. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Three inches over here. There is a difference between the front and the back. 
how we cut the neck so i use here three inches now i'm not going to use the back also three inches so pay attention when you get there i'll explain that to you It's more IFC. That's my shoulder slope. So the neck, it's going to depend where you're going to measure. You can measure from your neck to where you want your V neck to end. You want to say you can measure it. So you're going to measure from the shoulder line to where you want it to end. It can be 7 inches or 7.5 or 8 inches long. Then you mark, then you draw your straight line. You do the same thing to the other side. So this is going to serve you as a guide to make your work become simple and easy for you without facing no difficulty. So before that, we just have to, after that, just have to put on this like this one, you know, trying to check the design and be putting on it just roughly like this then you start cutting it to make sure that you label it so from here i'm just trying you know to see if my fabric is enough for me or it's not enough for me so like i said i did cut four and after doing this one then i found out that I have a shortage i need to add extra to it that's why i said it's important you cut six six will help you to achieve whatever you want to achieve i post videos every one of these and saturdays please do one and subscribe like and share and comment if you are not subscribed yet please do one subscribe like and share comment tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about more ifc leave your comments you can see I'm just cutting it for now like i said i'm just trying to see if my fabric is enough for me or is not enough for me if you have a star that you find yourself fumble you can't do it it's confuse you follow me on my facebook follow me on my instagram and send me uh link me up and tell me your problem i'm going to help you to do the design that you are doing it's free no charging it's just free just doing it for free so make sure you subscribe like and follow me and uh, ask questions comment tell a friend to tell a friend about more life so i'm making three uh one and a half over there that is one and a half over there and one and a half over here as well that is my remember i added extra one and a half as my sewing allowance so that's what i wanted to end at the tip of it because that side will not be any folding on that side so i want it to end exactly at the tip of it so one and a half the interval is supposed to be one inch maximum one inch maximum one inch don't leave too much spaces in between So when you do it this way it's also give you a guide you know it give you a knowledge you know become easy for you to know what you are doing to understand after me i'm just checking and see that if my fabric is enough so i'm checking and see that this is how the design is going to be so i'm just trying here and see and also checking my fabric to make sure that everything is on the right track so if i start then i start you know it's what ifc it is what it is so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about more ifc leave a comment ask question give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed yet
you just have to arrange first line as you can see i've taken everything off so you just have to arrange first line to become easy for you arrange first line this is the first line you make sure your armhole side the neck side you check everything As you can see so after you have done it this way then you have to add a second line you just have to place it on top like this as you can see this will become very very easy and simple for you you first lay the first line and the second one you just have to be putting on top like that step by step please give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up Check your shoulder slope, your armhole, your shoulders, you know, you have to check everything. Know that everything lies perfectly on the pattern that we drew everything on it, as you can see. The armhole cover the armhole. So after this, this is the time for you to make the bricks, you know, to lift one and put it inside here and lift one and just looking at the design, you know, you put one at the bottom, one have to come at the top and you start arranging it gradually, gradually. You can see what I'm doing. So when you do this, it will become very, very simple for you and easy. You see, have you seen the way I'm doing it? So it becomes very, very simple and easy start arranging it the best way that you can take your time here you take your time and you'll be checking the design then you'll be you know lifting one over the one and one have to cross one the other it's more ifc it is what it is do well subscribe if you have not subscribed yet click on notification bell i post videos every one of these and saturdays so do all and click on notification bell so anytime i post a new video a new banger you will be updated so if you have any question please do ask if you have a design that you fumble with it you don't know what to do just link me up my facebook is linked with my whatsapp then you just have to link me up and tell me your problem i'm going to help you for free it's free so do well subscribe like and share and comment it's more ifc it is what it is so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about more ifc this style need a lot of fabric this style need a lot of pins you need to get a lot of pins like 1500 200 and <laughs> you need to have a lot of pins you know of course you gotta work with pins i'm not going to use a lot of pins but i'm advising you to use a lot of pins on this one so this will have to be on the armhole side make sure you cover the armhole side no don't leave no space you know the sleeve you're gonna join the sleeve so the sleeve you have to get something to hold on onto so you put some and cover the armhole don't leave no space at the armhole side cover the armhole side so that when you're joining your sleeve the sleeve will get something to hold on to you do the same thing to the other side so as you arrange everything like this you can see how beautiful it is never remove the paper the pattern paper never remove it just have to pin it like i said get a lot of pin and pin everything every angle pin like two or three times so that it hold it firmly for you that one become very very easy for you you understand i'm not going to pin everything i'm just going to pin around it you know it's for ifc it is what it is but you i'm telling you pin it that will help you a lot so we flip it over then we're going to trim everything off If you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for please do subscribe i'm gonna give you all the styles the different style if you have a style also you want me to do a tutorial on it feel free send it to me on more ifc on my facebook or instagram my facebook is linked on my facebook is linked to my whatsapp 
So do well and send me the design. Let's talk about it. It's free. It's always free. I'm giving it for free. It's Morai FC. It is what it is. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Morai FC. So after trimming everything off, like I said, get a lot of pins so that you pin everything. That one will help you. Me, I just pin around it too. Don't compare yourself to me, I beg. I beg you. Just pin around it. That will help you a lot. So you're going to fold into two like this. So when you do it this way, it's like this is your fabric. You can see. It takes you back to how you want to cut a center and top. Very, very simple and easy. It takes you back to how. It's like now you want to cut your center and top. Where the back is longer than the front. Like four inches or four and a half inches. You know, long. You pull. The top have to be together like this. Then you cut the shoulder slope. You see, because there's a pins, a lot of pins in there, be careful with the pins. You can see, I have to take off these pins there and just put it somewhere safe, you know, and continue because there's a lot of pins that you're going to work with it. It is what it is. So I'm going to put it back like that. If you want to learn how to cut, I'm going to jump steps here. It is what I'm going to jump steps here. If you want to learn how to cut a cement and tab, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Do well and check it out and learn how to cut a cement and tab. Well explained. So you can see, you fold a half inch like that one, same thing. Then your shoulder, you divide it into two, then you mang, then you divide whatever you get, you use for your armhole, blah, blah, blah. Then you continue with it. I'm going to tell you something here about the neck. So pay attention. We are moving on. So this is the armhole. So you just have to with it you can see if you are new to the channel do want to subscribe like and share and comment i post videos every one of these days and saturdays if i couldn't able to post on saturday i'll post this on sunday so do all ask question give me a thumbs up compliment see something you know the more you do this you give you more you post on me you know you give you more uh, energize me you know it motivate me uh, i'm gonna jump a steps here no, because I say be careful with the pins because we are working with the pins, so you're gonna face a lot of pins and uh, just deal with it. So let's come back to the neck. This is two and a half. The front I marked three inches, but the back I marked two and a half because why? Because I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna do a yoke for the back. You know, there, there, there will be there's a yoke that I'm gonna use it for it, so I'm gonna turn it over because the front there's no yoke, there's no turnover, there's no popping, there's no anything is vain, you know, there's no top stitching. So you can see that the front is laid flat, you know, there's no top stitching at the front, so you can see how flat it is. So the black, the back need a yoke, so two inches you add, you do half inches, and it is what it is. So this is what we're gonna do right here, you just have to cut off some of the paper off. From your pattern for you to join the shoulders so you join one shoulder then you join the other shoulders then after that you join your sleeve so this is how you're gonna join it don't take off the paper don't take off the pattern don't take it off leave it there until you finish if you have not finished i beg i beg you don't take off the papers leave the paper the way it is don't remove the pins leave the pins the way it is unless maybe when you are stitching and you get to where the pin is that you gotta remove and stitch that part normal but Leave where the pins lay, let the pin be where they be. It's more IFC. Do all and tell a friend to 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 tell a friend about more IFC. Simple and easy. So after joining the shoulders, you do the same thing to the other side, then you join your sleeve. And after that, we come here. You need this hemming gum. You need this hemming gum and you need your pin and your needle, and your pin and uh, your thread. So we're gonna cut just a piece of the hemming gum. You can see I finished, I finished everything. 
I'll finish. So we're gonna put it here. Then we put a heat on it to hold it down. You can do this way to hold it down, just like that. It will hold that part down. You can see it hold down. Or we just have to turn to the wrong side. We're gonna turn to the wrong side. And this is what we're gonna do. For so far, I did that. So it's important you do that. You better you do it this way. This one will hold it down firmly for you guys. So you can see I make a knot here, making knots. You can see there's a knot over here. There is knot over there. There's knot over here. Just have to make a knot there so that it hold it down. At the bottom, you fold. Then you do a hemming hand stitch. You just do a hand stitch over there. You know you don't sew at that part. You just have to fold it. Then you hem it at the bottom you know everything gonna lie perfect thank you for watching it's more ifc thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting ask questions link me up let's talk let me help you out you can see how beautiful it is we're done